All right, time for the question of the day. This one, a huge talker, one that's stirring up a lot of controversy, really. Uh, a United flight from Newark to Denver landed in Chicago after a woman who wanted to recline her seat threw water at a man who refused to remove his knee defenders when he was asked by a flight attendant to do so. Now, a knee defender, something that I just learned about this morning, it's mm -hmm. a device that will stop the passenger in front of you from reclining the seat. It slips on your tray table mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it keeps them from reclining back during the flight. Now, uh, airlines, FAA, most of them do not allow, this was a United flight, they do not allow you passengers to modify the plane in any way. Uh, which this little device does just that. Yes, so what we want to know from you at home is what do you think about a passenger putting a knee defender on the seat, keeping the passenger in front of them from reclining? Let us know. You can like us on Facebook, which is CASA, and leave a comment there, or follow us on Twitter and tweet us at 2 -casa Fox. And as always, you can go to CASA.com and click on the CASA blog. Here Let's see here. Oh, I've got some here. Let's okay. see. Um, uh, Dominic Escada says, and I'm kind of on board with you on this, why does the seat recline that far in the first place? <laughs> I mean, they, they really don't. They really don't. Yeah. So, you know, saying, well, uh, that's, I mean, that's what it's there for. It's what it's doing is to recline. There's yeah. a button that makes it happen. Exactly. Uh, Daniel Glass says, I think as long as you only lean back a little bit, it is okay, but you should not recline your chair back all the way. Yeah, and uh, Miguel Rojas, I can't read all of your response, uh, mm -hmm. but he says, you want to use the device, fly first class. Oh, that's, I was going to read one that said almost the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah, there just do. The, uh, were you going to call it? You know, there you go. I'm going to call the response. Hello, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's honestly my thing is... If, if it is that big of an issue, if it is that big of an issue, you, you need to make special accommodations because yeah. the seats have the reclining button for a reason. Yeah. And it is, it is every other person's right to use it. You know what I wonder is the people who have the knee defenders, do they recline? Like, that's what I wonder. I don't know, because, I mean, you know, honestly, yeah. uh, and this guy, the, the man who invented it, he's a tall guy. I think he's something like 6'10 or something. I mean, he's a big guy. Yeah, very tall guy, okay. and his thing was that you know he was he was getting hit, so that's where he came up with this invention. Um, uh, but so I, I can understand that yeah, it might actually cause pain. But dude, buy first class. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, and our, our producer was telling us, you know, the guy in Vinity saying, well, nobody sued the cup company either, you know. So I mean, who knows? Cups aren't illegal on airplanes. Cups aren't, unless they're Cups filled with water and you throw them on somebody else. Cups don't affect how the airplane was built. That's that's true. That's so. true. They don't. Unless you throw water on someone behind you. Don't throw water at people. Yeah, seriously, who does that? In this day and age, first of all, who does that anywhere, but especially on an airplane? Yeah. Are you seriously going to do that? Crazy pants? You deserve not to fly. Both of you guys are grounded from planes. Grounded. Grounded. All right. Yeah.